hello, hello, hello. This is Scrapping Like a Lady. I, as you can see, I've got a bunch of Amazon stuff that I need to put away. And I was on the bed this morning. I'm in my master bedroom. And I was like, okay, Jesus, let me go and show the people the stuff and why I got the stuff if I can put it away. Now, I see a streak of sunlight coming in right across my head. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get away from that. I think I'm gonna make it worse if I turn you out that way. Oh, well, let's, let's do what we can do here. Boom, how's that? It's a little bit better, still there, but it's a little bit better. It's all good, right? It's all good. I'm trying to get y'all out of the sunlight, okay. Y'all don't need to see me. Y'all just want to see your stuff anyways. I just woke up. <laughs> Actually, it's a lie. I woke up really early this morning, like 3 in the morning. And I couldn't go back to sleep. So then I couldn't go back to sleep till like 7. And then I fell back to sleep till 9.30. So weird. Okay. So let me talk to you guys. Oh, that's sunlight coming right back in here and tell y'all what happened. Come over here. What happened and why I bought this stuff. So the family reunion was a week and a half ago. No, it was last weekend. Yeah. Started, they started on Thursday or so. That's when everybody started heading out and moving around about it. So... I found out about the family reunion months ago, but a month is like a year to me. So tell me the month of, right? So the month of, I was not told that it was in July. So I didn't know. So they called me because they needed some stuff for the genealogy stuff of it. And I'm like, wait, wait, what do you mean it's this weekend? So I... Move my patients around, reschedule, cancel, whatever you want to call it, and made it happen. So, I got there. I took Logan with me. Cameron was off this week, but he wanted to catch up on some schoolwork. I was like, it's whatever. The people aren't going to know you and the family, but it's whatever. Don't you hate when you get all that boxing and all you do is get one can of 505 spray? So the reason why I bought this is because I bought some wallpaper for Logan's room, that uh, one that's adhesive already. And it was not cheap, but it won't stay on the wall. So he took my adhesive um, spray for embroidery. It's temporary adhesive spray and use the whole can. And this stuff is not cheap. This was, well, it was 1246. Then why did it come to $22? I don't know. I might have ordered something else with it. But anyways, so, but he used that whole can up. <laughs> so I was like, it's okay. <sighs> okay, sometimes having a special baby is, is it, it'll try you. It'll try you. But that's how he learns, right? That's how we all learn. So let's open up this next one. You can't get mad at people. Okay, so. I'm opening a box and I see what it is. So I'm going to tell y'all what some of these are. Probably the mud, about four or five of them. I don't know. So I go there and my aunt, uncles, cousins, they're all in this Airbnb. And they're like, girl, just come. Mm -mm, even if we got to make mats on the floor, we'll be good. Just come. I drove eight hours to Mississippi, y'all. Me who falls asleep driving 25 minutes to Denton, okay? I drove eight hours straight. I was gonna stop in Monroe um, and, 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 and stay there overnight, you know, and 
do the rest of the four hours. You know, that was my mental plan. But I got to Monroe. I was on the phone with Willie and I was like, I'm not tired. So I was like, I'm going to drive a little bit more. And then I drove another 100 miles because it was like 515 or miles or something like that. And I wasn't tired. So I drove a little bit more. Next thing I know, I was pulling up. It is what it is. So I get there. I'm having a blast. My daughter meets me there. She's coming in from Kentucky. And they've been traveling to different states all week. But she came. Her husband was so beautiful to bring her. So she came and with my five grandsons. So there was like 16 of us in one Airbnb. It had like four rooms, two baths and everything like that. Honey, we made it work. It was wonderful. There were like twin, two twin beds in one room, two queen beds in other rooms. And um, so it was good. There were uh, pull-out couches and futons and everything. They had it all. I don't know how many people they were doing it for. Um, expecting maybe 10 people or whatever. But, honey, we had 16 up in there. That's how we do it. And my Aunt Annette wouldn't take any money because that's just how she is. And her her husband wouldn't take any money. He threw it and, and, and made sure what's his face got his money back my son-in-law i'm like oh my good lord so anyways um we had a wonderful time but my one cousin charlene is a perfume connoisseur and um so we got to talk in perfume so i gave her my phone and for she could order me the stuff that she had from amazon and her sisters had and this right here is from Crown Perfumes. It's Arabic colognes. And so they're, they have oils. Let me just let it focus for a minute. Focus right here. My dirty fingernails. Okay. So. Oh, let me put the... Maybe you can get that information. Okay. They were so good. The colognes she had, like, ooh, okay. So this is the one. There's a cologne out right now, and it smells like cotton candy vanilla. And I love vanilla smells. I love it when I smell like vanilla. And everybody around me love it because they always tell me they do, right? So I was telling her about that and she was like, oh, is it so-and-so and so-and-so? And, -so? and I was like, I don't know. I don't remember names of colognes. Oh, that's probably gonna be one of my favorite ones. But I was due for some new cologne. So I gave her my phone. And she started putting the one she had and her sister had and da 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 da. And I was like, okay, good, thank you. And I'm like, yeah. She was like, so this is about seven of them. I was like, oh, okay. Well, she pressed, and I was gonna put them in some of my saved ones and have them for later, you know, and, and get a couple of them. Cause we had ordered one that earlier that morning. But she pressed, bye. And that was all she wrote. So I am the proud owner of eight new colognes. This is the other one right here. And I, and they, they basically mimic a lot of the, sorry about the noise, the new colognes that are out but they're made with oils because she said she buys that expensive cologne and they, you can't smell them. And I don't know what's up, but that is so true. Like if a person put on their cologne right before they come, I can smell them. But um, I like to put oil and when I'm in the shower, I have my oils right there and I like to oil my whole body. And then I like to spray my cologne for it can last 
but um, my colognes that are oils, I don't have to do that. Wow. Okay, so this says Yara on it. Y-A-R-A. -A. Um, and it is supposed to be... When I go out there, guys, get this. That's all I gotta say. Oh my gosh, I want to smell like that all over. And the bottle is so beautiful. Let me tell you how much this one cost. They were not expensive. Like, I think this was like... Okay, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Okay, this one was $25. This was $8.75. Oh, wrong way. And, you know, with oils especially, you can mix them together. I hate keeping boxes. Like, I don't keep my stuff in boxes and put them away. I hate that. I try to just have everything very small and compact. Why would I have this big old box for this one little thing right here? And I'll show you. This is in size. It's about this big right here. So it's a pretty good bottle, and it's thick. So you get a lot in there. Uh, I guess they'll tell you the fluid ounces. Um, this one, I think it's 1.7 ounce right here. Yeah, 1.7 ounce. Now, I will tell you that I did have to pay $9.47 shipping on this one. So, it came to $22.96. Look, that ain't, that ain't no coins. And then this one was $25. So, it came to $27. And it looks like there was, the shipment total was, oh, no, 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 okay. So the shipment was $27. So, but I think that's for all the colognes I got, those other ones, not that one right there. Um, I think, don't quote me on it. Okay, now this feels different. This ain't a cologne right there. Uh, oh, okay. This is my no so mesh stabilizer. So I went to a convention, um, embroidery. Well, they had all the different arts there. Um, and I noticed that a lot of the in the hoop projects was using the no show mesh stabilizer and nobody had it. So I just came home and ordered it. And it's so funny because you know how you order stuff and you forget that you ordered but look at it. it looks like a regular paper towel and so i better make sure i take this upstairs because my special baby be like paper towel you know um so this is uh 12 by 50 yards but nobody had it at that show i was just like come on y'all i'm being lazy I need to go make my husband some breakfast. And not just any old breakfast, honey. I need to make that man a grand breakfast. Because he has been washing my car for about two hours. And it ain't, it ain't cool outside, honey. You know this is sunny Texas, honey. It's hot as hell. And I went out there made me come inspect it and I was thinking to myself I would not be out here for no kind of reason thank you cousin Charlene for hooking the girl up I love my family like my son-in-law was so shocked 
It was like, man, and then there was a lot of us. A lot of us. I don't know exactly how many came. It looked like maybe a hundred people or so were there. Um, okay, so I cannot pronounce this style. Farica Lafette. I don't know. I can't I can barely read English, so you know I can't read that. Here, look at this. Focus. Yeah. Okay. This is cute too. This is a hell of a cute bottle. Look at that. That's the front. Ooh, I can smell this one already. I remember. Mmm. Turn around. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. Mm. I don't know colognes. Oh, mm. no, this bench over. I don't know colognes, but I remember distinctively. I think this is supposed to be like a Tom Ford cologne or one of those very, very high-end uh, ones. Now, all of these came to 137 okay? Um, except this one right here. So all that I'm going to show you right now, right quick, was 137 total. And that's with the shipping, okay? not lie to you okay yeah and now I've got a rundown of the of the different okay this one right here was $23 your girl gonna smell good on the cheap now mind you I was headed to ultra I told my cousin I'm about to go to ultra and get that one cologne that smells like this one, that cotton candy um, vanilla. Because when my client came in, I was like, what are you wearing? And she was like, oh, it's that Ultra. And then when I looked it up, I think it was like $75 or $98. Look at this, y'all. And I was like, I don't care how much it is. I'm going to get it. And my cousin was like, oh, you ain't even got to do all of that. Look at that. I love this box. I'm going to keep this box. I'm going to redo it with some paper over it. Okay, look at that bottle. Now, she didn't show me this bottle, but I told her, just put all the ones that you like. I think she had this one at home. Mm. No, wait. Let me smell this. And put it on this wrist because this wrist ain't got nothing. This smells like expensive cashmere. I'm gonna be. I've got my pick of delight, y'all. Okay, so this one is A J W A D. Adwad. And that one, I think that one, oh, okay, it's 1909. Hell, their boxes are nice. Those two boxes right there. And this one right here was nice too. I like the way it opened up like that. You know, you can repaper those and put little gifts in there. So, tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. And Kimberly is going to be 39 years old. You know, and her and her husband, they always fussing about something. They fussers. They just, they need to shut up. And I was like, you getting too old to be arguing. Okay, so this one looks like this one. It says Yara 2. Ouch. Hit my 
my elbow. Back of the hand. Okay. I just can't even tell y'all how good these things are. Y'all just gonna have to experience them for yourself. Baby girl, that's what this smells like. Baby girl. Here come my husband. He's gonna tell me how much pain he's in if I can feel sorry for him. But watch, watch how this sweet mouth work. Hey baby, you want some breakfast? Yes. Mama gonna make you some real good stuff. I'm gonna make you some. You broke. Oh, that's cause you was taking care of your mama, honey. I'm a, I'm a, I'm doing a live right. I'm mean, not a live uh, video. You want to come in? <laughs> you taking your clothes off? Let me take a shower. <laughs> You're so stupid. I'm gonna make you some biscuits, eggs. Do you want grits too or not? Hey, what a party! What a party! <laughs> you want some grits or biscuits or both? Grits. Grits. Okay. You want some waffles with that new waffle machine I bought? I'm gonna try it. Okay. I'm. A, I got a couple more to do, and then I'm gonna go make it. Okay. Do waffles? You want me to do grits? You want me to do chicken and waffles? Because I got that chicken and thawing out in the sink right now. That boneless, skinless. Came from Mississippi a while ago. Said, Don't try it. Don't try it. No, I want some chicken and waffles. It is, all right? Okay, baby. Okay, so here we go. The next one. Isn't he crazy? He keep me laughing, girl. He keep me laughing. What? I love it. Where'd you get that from, Willie T. Moo? <laughs> he is T. Moo crazy. Do you hear me? That man be at home all day long, supposedly working, and he just be shopping on T. Moo. We need one of those. We need one of those. We got so much crap filled up. He done took up the whole front room, the foyer, everywhere. Not with Timu stuff, with music equipment and stuff that he's ordering. But you know what? I say, it's whatever. Honey, because I, I don't care about this house. I just care that we are happy. And being happy means you need to shut your mouth and stop all that whining and bitching that we women love to do. Don't put this over here. Da, 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 da. And we become nags. Don't nobody want to hear that. Mm -mm. And get off your butt and make them something to eat because you know how to get to their hearts, how to keep their hearts because you did it once. So, anyways, that's enough of mama's lecture. Let's go on. Okay, back of this hand. Let me see how this one smells. Okay, that one just needs to go all over, honey. It just needs to go all over. So, it's got little diamonds on it. Isn't that cute? Oh, I didn't tell you how much that one was, did I? Let me see. Anna. Bigia. I don't know. Rouge. Okay, that one is $16.96. Girl, go get yourself some Anna. Now, what does that smell like? That smells like to be honest with you, I'm gonna be prejudiced right now. That smells like an expensive white lady. Because why am I saying that? Because I was standing at the perfume counter and this white lady came and stood next to me and I made her she smelled so good, made my head whip around, and I was like, what do you have on? Because I need that in my life. That's what that reminds me of. That's nice. All right. Let's get all this crap in here. And move on. So this is going to be the last perfume. One, two, three, four, five, six, number seven.
This is a Anna something too. And this one says it's a perfume. Et de de trois perfume. So I think that other one was too. But my cousin said they put oils in it. So I thought our et de trois, we didn't put oils in them. And that's the difference from perfumes. And I don't know. Don't get me to lying. And this looks like white lamb. And it was $17.50. Made in UAE. Is that the Air of Emirates? I think it is. United Air of Emirates. See if all of these ones say that. Yeah, they all say that. Mmm. Woo! Even the box is blinking. This one looks like this. So you know that saying, sight unseen? These, uh, my cousin said these were smell unseen because she hadn't smelled any of them. I can't decide what I want to smell like. Mmm. <laughs> oh. All I got to say is get yourself some. For 137 bucks, y'all, I got seven new perfumes. Now, let me tell y'all what I like to do. I don't like to smell different every day. So I will use one cologne until it's gone. But I think I'm going to break up out of my ways. And since I got seven new colognes and there's seven days in the week, I'm going to wear a different cologne every day. I can do that. At least I can dry. Okay, let me open up these last two boxes, which are not perfumes. Ugh, I got some of that perfume in my mouth, honey, but this room smells gorgeous. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the beep, 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 no, okay. Um, I wanted to get these, I don't know, y'all probably like, what is she so excited about? But I've been wanting to get these for, I don't know, about a month. And I said, just buy them. It's not even like they're expensive, right? Just get them. The reason I was hesitant is because I have so many of them. What are you talking about, Lisa? And when I show it to you, you'll be like, oh, girl, bye. So these are the Karen Bay Buckley scissors. And they were $30. And the smaller ones were $20. 20 uh, these ones were $30.56. But they've got a, they're serrated. And it's very small serrations. And so you can cut lofty, thick fabrics and bundles of fabrics or layers, I should say, of fabrics and you get precision cuts and the fabric won't move and shift and stuff like that. So I said, let me just go ahead and keep this. So keep fabric from slipping so cutting is more accurate, helps to pre uh, prevent frayed edges, cuts up to eight layers of cotton fabric easily. So that's the purple ones. The purple ones are serrated. Now they've got some pink ones and other colors and they're not, but they're supposed to be really good scissors. So I've seen so many YouTubers using them. So, and these ones are the small 
serrated ones. So if I'm cutting layers of layers, if I'm doing EPP, um, that's what they are. And when I went to the um, show two weeks ago, they were they had the Karen Buckley scissors, uh, Karen K Buckley scissors, um, but none of the booths had these two because they were highly sought after. And the lady said, no, they, those ones go first. So if I like these, I'm going to order another set. I'm going to test them out because I am going to be sewing and embroidering today. Um, if I like them, I'm going to order another set for my other house. Um, and that's what I've been doing a lot of, ordering doubles of stuff for, and Willie has been doing it for me too, for I could have a set for this house and a set for the other house. So, and I know that sounds wasteful, but when we leave and I have doubles of stuff, it'll be good because I won't be able to get that stuff. It won't be readily available to me. Some of the stuff that we have here, like these scissors, no, they're not going to have the... Karen K. Buckley scissors in Ecuador. So if I got two of them and one of them goes bad, then I've got a backup. So I'm thinking years out. All right, let me see what this box is. It ain't too heavy. So there are people that are consumers in this world. And I've just come to the realization that my husband and I are those people. And it's bad when you got two of them. But if you're responsible with your coins, then you don't have to really worry about it too much. Good God. Amazon. Ain't nothing else in here. But one time mom will put something away and it had something within the something. And all that wrapping. Oh, okay. This is an Amazon. You know what this is? Yes, Jesus. Oh, no. I'm facing this way. They're not going to see your nakedness, mister. This. <laughs> This is the online Goodwill. What did I buy? Look at these, y'all. Aren't those cool? So I told you guys my last... Shut up, Willie Cooper. My last two pair of shoes, I ordered men size nines. And I haven't worn them. And it's been months. So I can't even send them back to Amazon. Um, but anyways, I was shopping online Goodwill for sewing stuff and fabrics and stuff like that. They got it all on there, y'all. Don't don't discount the online Goodwill. Willie, you shop on there too all the time. You just got something last week, didn't you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's blinking like, uh, yeah, he shopped on there too. He shops on there all the time, actually. He gets speakers and all of this kind of crap. See, his stuff is crap. Vintage crap. Okay, so these look at they're sparkly. You can't right, see it. Might be crap because it's from the seventies, not the sixties. Huh? It might be crap because it's from the seventies, not the sixties. <laughs> you know, it's the sixties. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Because he was born in 66 and I was born in 70s. He's like, the crap is in the 70s. Okay. But aren't these the coolest? Willie, aren't these so awesome? You know, I love Converse. Oh, Lord. And yes. And I got some sparkly um, shoelaces when I went to the sh uh, show. I am so excited. Look how clean they are. Don't play, y'all. 
these might have been worn one time because look at they've got a little bit of dirt in the groove right there but it's nice and smooth maybe someone tried them on but they don't have any wear on them at all wow so i'm in love i love converse like i really love converse so let me make sure I've got it right. Yep, U.S. size nines. Lisa's happy. Now, how much did I pay for these? I think they were like $29. But then you have to pay for shipping. And I think the shipping... Yes, put on your formal wear. That's his shorts. Because he don't go to work, y'all. You wear your shorts even when you're not off. Okay. He might be angry, man. You don't know if he got pants on. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, it was like $29.99. And then I paid another, I don't know, 8 to $10 for shipping. So, it was 40 bucks, $42, I think, actually, with tax out the door. Come on, y'all. You can't get him for that. So, I was very happy for that. So, what's my haul? Seven colognes, one pair of sneaks, no so washy stabilizer, scissors, and spray. All of those boxes. But now they're open and I can go make my man some food. Deuces, y'all.